welcome back to my channel happy sunday i hope you're all having a lovely morning so far although i've started my uploads on sundays a bit earlier so if you are watching this when this has just gone live it's very early it's only 8 a.m um but yeah i feel like let me know if i'm wrong but i feel like a lot of you will prefer the upload just that little bit earlier because i feel like i always used to do it at 9 a.m and i feel like if you're an early bird you've kind of already got up got ready had your breakfast or whatever by that point rather than being able to sit and enjoy your breakfast with me or maybe you're having a bit of a lion in bed and you watch your morning youtube videos i don't know but for those of you early birds that like to watch the video when it goes live let me know is 8am better suited to you um otherwise if you watch it later then it doesn't really matter anyway does it but yeah i am at the trafford center this morning i thought i would take a trip and have a look in primark i have been watching people's primark hauls and there looks to be some really nice things in stores at the minute now i have like i said I only just come to the trafford center one the manchester city center one is usually bigger and better i would always recommend going there but i've got a couple of errands and things that i need to do today anyway that brought me here that i thought i'll go to the trafford center primark today and bright and early as well in fact the shop doesn't even open for another 10 minutes so that's why i thought i would intro this vlog now and yeah let me know how you guys are how is everyone what's new anything exciting going on in your lives right now i know i mentioned on instagram those of you that follow me on instagram that i booked a last minute trip with tom to geneva in a couple of weeks but actually we've had to scrap that long story short something's come up whereby right slap bang in the middle of that trip um we need to be in england so we can't do that anymore but that's fine we'll postpone it to um to another day we're pretty flexible like that so that's a benefit and plus i always get a little bit nervous traveling anyway so the fact that we're not going away it's like oh okay whatever um but yeah we would like to rearrange it at some point because it'd be really nice to go to geneva um apparently although since putting that story up everyone was saying how expensive it is so yes it'll probably just be because it is such a short flight just going for like two nights something like that but when's a good time of year to go to Geneva because we need to postpone the flights still on my agenda of things that I need to do honestly I feel like I've got a never-ending growing list of to-do bits I start to get really busy at this time of the year with work and it all gets a bit overwhelming sometimes when I get I'm not very good with stress to be honest with you <laughs> not very good anyway so that feeling stressed is just like one thing on top of it i'm not complaining though because i love this time of the year it's my most like i think that's also another thing is the added pressure of having a good time during autumn and christmas because i love it so much i remember last year i actually quite struggled with my mental health that's when i started speaking to a therapist and again i think it's almost like that pressure of like loving and having the perfect time of year when it's the time of year that you love most i don't know it was a weird one but hopefully this year will be better fingers crossed and also obviously i've been on a bit of a journey with self-love self-discovery and picking up tips and tricks on how to how to manage stresses anxieties that we all face um, but sometimes there's a few of us that just those levels just exceed the normal rate um, But yeah, I'm working on it. I'm on a journey. I don't know how I've gone on to this spiel I think it's because I'm literally time wasting the fact that Primark isn't even open yet But for those of you that have come to watch and see what is new in in Primark Then I feel like we should just get on in there and see what's new in so the first thing I noticed as soon as I was heading up to the store was the signs everywhere about the Rita Ora collection. So I was excited to head in store, grab a basket and see what there was on offer. And honestly, quite a lot. Um, quite a lot of things were, I would say, autumn, winter related, especially into winter. And lots of like heels, shoes, accessories, jewelry, bags everything it wasn't just clothing so yeah quite the selection of 
items within this collaboration that she has done with them. I really love this kind of forest olive green colored boucle coat, really, really nice. Love that top, maybe a bit too trend led for me, but also they only had one large available, which was too big for me. Loved this cozy cardigan and it was super long as well. The prices are, I would say, slightly more than the average at Primark prices. They're a bit more on the lines of the Primark edit range of price points, sort of the 15 to 40 pounds. Um, but yeah, really, really happy with the quality and the selection of, um, of items on offer from the Rita Ora collaboration. Since I was a little child Every year for as long as I Lots of stripes I'm seeing in store, including this cord and some more, which I will share with you in just a second. Again, loads of knitwear. These are more like the kind of average price points of like a cozy knit jumper, nine pounds. This one was super soft as well. It was like a kind of like brushed cotton. They also had loads of neutral tones, including this gorgeous rust orange kind of colored blazer trouser combo. I didn't like the buttons on them. Otherwise, I would have been tempted to get that blazer. Then they also had these loafers, a very simple buckle, like kind of horse bit buckle, giving Gucci, I'm not gonna lie. Um, this blazer also, this single breasted khaki blazer, that one actually had a pull on the sleeve, but very similar to one that I have from Zara. And then I also spotted these two striped shirts, this one at 14 pounds, and then the smaller kind of pinstripe one was actually from the edit range, and that one was a little more at 20 pounds. Then this jumper I fell in love with. I'm getting over to the more of the edit section now, so these prices are a little bit higher. I did actually pick up this jumper, and I was very tempted for it in gray as well, this kind of like dark, charcoal gray it was lovely really really nice i love the wide thick sleeves as well they did also have some higher price points up to about 40 pounds for a couple of different jackets including this bomber and then they had this leather skirt and jacket combo um but yeah higher price points on the edit range but really good quality. I actually already have this trench coat at 45 pounds, but in the kind of camel color, but I noticed they brought it out in gray as well. And then also for basics, again, 12 pounds for a t-shirt from Primark seems steeper, but some of my absolute favorite t-shirts that I own are from the Primark edit range. Well, around there just for fun. super soft inner on those leggings and I may have picked up a colour. Which one do you think I went for? The khaki or the burgundy? I'd be intrigued to see if you guys could guess. I actually have this t-shirt dress in grey. It's kind of like a bluey grey. It's again from the edit range but a really nice fit and again more stripes like I was saying earlier. And then lots of knitted jumper dresses as well. This one was quite unique because it kind of had like a built-in scarf and it was only 19 pounds, which I thought was quite affordable. Again, more stripes, as I was saying before, and these kind of cardigans are quite in at the moment with the kind of, I don't know how I would describe them, but like a military kind of button, I don't know. But anyway, this cardigan I was very tempted for. I actually picked it up in a different color, and now looking back at this footage, I'm regretting not getting the cream as well. But anyway, having a quick look over some more kind of like autumn, winter accessories, bags, they've got some chunky knit scarves in. They also had a selection of different bags in like a kind of boucle kind of sheep material, again, giving cozy vibes. And then I had a quick look at the pajama section of which this range in particular kind of like a little bit autumnal with the colors. And that one's actually romper. I've never seen that before, but it looked so comfy and cozy, as did this kind of skims style set, as well as the kind of satiny sets. This one in particular, again, Primark Edit, actually contains silk. Then 
headed upstairs in the lift to the home section. Probably my favourite, the city centre one is always better for the homeware, but they did not disappoint on this occasion. Loads, and I'm saying loads, of Christmas stock. Pretty much half of the homeware, if not more, was all Christmas stuff already. And they've kind of not bypassed autumn, but I don't think they had the biggest selection when it came to autumn. I will show you in a second some of the bits that they had left out. But for the most part, it was all Christmas. It's the storm inside that's breaking my heart. something about these old-fashioned globes that just gets me every time I really want to get one also white company dupes with these candles and again much more affordable than the white company but again lots of more candles candle holders these ones would be quite good on a table place setting lots of reed diffusers again this one had more of a kind of vintage vibe as did this joyful cushion These letters for Santa, there's a larger one as well, which I'll show you in a second, which I just love. Also this felt dog. I mean, did it come home with me? You'll have to see soon. But yeah, lots of tea lights. Winter Spice was a really nice scent, Falling Snow. They honestly had quite a big range of home fragrance products. Tea light holders like this cute little gingerbread house, this light up tree, another tea light holder in that kind of ceramic house style, which you guys know I love. Um, and then also lots of cushions, cushion covers for the kind of cozy Christmas feel too. Well, I'm still the same, cause I just can't let go. And there's no one to blame. It's just the way it is Like stone The motionless in this world this was the mailbox I was talking about for six pounds. I think that's brilliant, especially for like a kid's bedroom. But anyway, this is the remaining kind of autumn stock that they had. If you were still shopping for autumn stuff, in particular, I really liked this cozy throw, which they had at 24 pounds. But otherwise, yeah, that is everything. My arms are shaking. <laughs> I had such heavy bags to carry. Um, when you're doing it solo with homeware as well as fashion and like autumn winter fashion as well which is quite heavy like heavy knitwear and stuff uh yeah it's an arm workout that's for sure for sure i'm just putting on this just what i've got in my car so it's like literally on the last legs it's the two-faced hangover pillow balm lip treatment I usually bring my water with me, but I didn't today. <sighs> Sparkling water. I feel like you either love it or you hate it. It's one of those things that when you go out for dinner and, and they say, would you like a bottle of still or sparkling? And everyone looks around, what would you? But in my mind, I'm thinking, please say sparkling. <laughs> love it. Anyway, I got that much. What's that noise? Oh, it's that. I thought it was my car. There's a big, like, lorry over there. Anyway, two big bag full, bags full of Primark bits. Amazing new Rita Aura section. They, I, I knew that she'd done a collab with Primark, yet to see it in stores. So I was expecting a small little section. It was pretty much, like, the, like, half of the store. Okay, maybe that's a bit dramatic. A quarter of the store, a huge section, was Rita Aura stuff. Um, yeah, and some really nice bits. So I did get quite a lot. So I'm going to do a full dedicated Primark haul, which will come next week. So apologies for the shorter vlog for those of you. Oh, it's that car that's making that noise. It's a Lamborghini. Does anyone know an owner with a lime green Lamborghini? She's got blonde hair, looks similar age to me, maybe a bit younger. 
anyway very nice um yes what was i saying yeah i'm gonna do a full dedicated primark haul next week and i was saying apologies for those of you that like the long vlogs i feel like i need to do this is like a last minute filming for me and i didn't want to not have a video for today so um yeah a quick short snappy vlog come shopping with me vlog a longer vlog coming next week i might even do and then obviously the primark haul i might even start decorating putting up some like halloween decorations like decorating my porch and stuff like that but yeah thank you so so much for watching i hope you guys have enjoyed it do give it a thumbs up if you have subscribe if you haven't already and if you hit that notification bell you'll be notified when i upload the primark haul but yeah thanks so so much for watching have a lovely rest of your day and i hope to see you again next time. Bye guys!